Hello there. Today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on how to make perspective mockups. Perspective mockups allow you to throw your uh, InDesign uh, template or Photoshop uh, screen cap or any sort of flat file um, into perspective and make it put it into a more realistic situation. So step one would be to get a photograph of a uh, real situation where um, the images where there's a screen or a package or something like that in perspective. Um, so uh, for that, I'm going to search uh, unsplash uh, site unsplash.com. Um, they have some good ones uh, that you can hunt for. So you can see uh, things like that or this over-the-shoulder shot, or uh, like the one that I'll be using is uh, this one. Um, so maybe you um, are going to take your own photography. That's probably uh, even better that you'll have a more unique shot. But Unsplash has a nice uh, set um, that they took that are um, royalty-free. So uh, always double-check uh, on the royalty status of any image that you use uh, on the Internet. Um, so for ours, um, uh, so step one is obtain uh, an image that you want to place your screen capture in. Step two um, is uh, draw a shape. It doesn't matter what size shape you draw. Uh, I'm going to draw this giant uh, white shape right here. I'm going to turn off that layer. So this giant white shape, um, all that really matters about this shape is that, the, uh, that you set the ratio correctly. So, for instance, uh, I know that that is a 13-inch MacBook Air, and I know that the resolution of a 13-inch MacBook Air is 1440 pixels by 900 pixels. So that's what I'm going to set uh, the size of this image to. 1440 pixels by 900 pixels. Um, since my particular background image is so large, um, 1440 by 900 is actually ends up being kind of small. So I'm going to uh, scale mine up, but as long as the ratio of 1440 to 900 is uh, maintained, um, everything will en still end up looking good. So with that ratio, I'm going to scale it up and be that size. Okay. Now the third step is to right click on that image, uh, that layer, and click Convert to Smart Object. Um, once it's a smart object, uh, any transformations we do will be reversible. So I'm going to hit Edit and Free Transform, uh, and then Transform Distort. So this allows me to move each uh, corner separately, and I can put them wherever I'd like. So I'm going to put them roughly in the right position. I'm going to zoom in to get uh, a lot more accurate. So I'm going to hit enter and save my changes. You can see that it's uh, kind of close. There's a little bit of uh, imperfections uh, along the side. But the beauty of smart objects is that I can hit uh, free transform again. And um, my transformations are saved this way and completely editable. So before making this tutorial, I um, put out some guides. So I'm going to um, turn those on and uh, line up, set it to distort, and then line up all my uh, stuff with those points. Okay. Um, but you won't have that luxury. Um, so if you get your, get all your corners in the right spot, um, that looks like it's in perspective um, to me. 
And so then I'm, uh, you hit enter, you save your transformations, and then you come up to that shape two layer and you, we're gonna hit right click on it and then click on edit contents. All right, now here's that white shape layer that we drew in the first place uh, back at, at the original ratio. Uh, and now we're going to um, go get a screen cap um, of a website. So we could uh, screen cap it just like this, or maybe we want to uh, go into full screen and get rid of the uh, Mac toolbar there at the top and get a little bit more of our site visible. Uh, I'm even going to uh, turn off the navigation bar so I get a little bit more of the site. And then on Mac, you can take a screenshot by pressing Command, Control, Shift, 3. Uh, then I'm going to go back to my Photoshop file and paste in this screenshot. Now my screen is a lot smaller than the image uh, that we're working with here. Uh, so as long as we uh, scale down the final product um, to put on the internet, scaling up my screenshot uh, won't be noticeable. So my screen has the same ratio uh, of width to height as the um, other site did, um, but maybe um, maybe you don't uh, want to include the whole thing. You have some you have some options. Uh, I'm scale that up. So. All right, so this is uh, the what will be thrown into perspective in the original uh, Photoshop file. So if I hit File, Save, and save this .psb file, then um, when we come back over to the respective mockups, we'll see it's perfectly in perspective uh, as per our transformations. So we could always right click and fix any transformation errors that we notice um, if we want to. So I'll back out and see this uh, looks like a pretty good perspective. So then uh, on the, uh, the next steps would be to uh, save this image out at whatever size you want um, to use on your site. Now if you save this PS PSD file, uh, you can always come back, right click on, um, let me close that there. You can always come back, right click on that, hit edit contents, and drop uh, any other kind of website that you want in here. Um, and that will, um, those changes will be reflected in the original file. And that's all there is to it. Uh, hope you have a uh, good time with this. And uh, enjoy working with uh, smart objects and perspective mockups.